Tesla and Google may join forces in the world of autonomous vehicle projects. More details out about GM's new Ecotech. Also, two more unintended acceleration claims from some Toyota Camry owners. And who's driving a 900-horsepower Lanto Evo 9, Max? Who? Yo mama. That's crossed the line. Is it? Yeah. All right. Plus, what we said about the Ferrari La Ferrari yesterday? Yeah, you can just that. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching the 1600th episode of Fast Lane Daily La Daily. Whoa. Sweet 16. Sweet 16. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 1600. You know, just when you thought Toyota left all those claims of unattended acceleration from 2009 behind them, what, Max? What happened? Two more Camry-related accidents have been reported. Uh. Yeah. The first came from a family in St. Louis who said their Camry accelerated without reason, crashing into a building. They're all okay, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Now another claim coming from an Illinois Camry owner, Caroline Allred, said her 2012 Camry SE accelerated when she hit the brake forcing her into a parking structure pillar. It's not good, Toyota. Now, Toyota has done a pretty good job so far, regaining the number one global automaker spot from all that bad PR. After all that bad PR, I should say. But with these new claims, who knows? This may taint their progress. And no one likes progress on their taint. How did that... Wait, what? Is that... How That's... did we get there? No. I'm not sure. Moving on. Sometimes when young hooligans tune their vehicles to insane power figures, you have to wonder if their parents would approve of such behavior. Well, in most cases, well, you'd probably be right to say that they don't. However, there is always the possibility that a mother, such as the one here in this video by 1320 video, doesn't only approve of it, but she'll take the 900 horsepower manual Lancer Evo for a spin herself. And this mom couldn't look more like a mom, which makes it all the more awesome. She literally has a grin on her face the entire time, and she's not even driving to 10 and 2. She rocks either 12 or 6 with the other hand on the shifter. You know? Oh, yeah. Kudos to you, Mom. And killer scarf, by the way. Right? Yeah. Nice. That's one badass mom. Totally is. And the link is in the description. If you want to watch that whole thing, it's definitely worth it. Moving on. GM has revealed some more info about their new 4.3 liter Ecotec V6 that will do work inside their 2014 Sierra and Denali. The Ecotec 3 variant will make 285 horsepower and 305 pound-feet of torquage. And you can tow up to 7,200 LBs. That's pounds, Max. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know the fuel ratings yet, but you can expect them to meet or exceed Ford's EcoBoost V6 F-150 figures. The Ecotec 2014 Sierra will cost about 25,000 buckaroos and will be out later this year. In other news, Ghostbuster fans said, enough of the Ecotech talk. When is the new Ecto-1 coming out? Yeah. Ecto, Ecotech. Nice. Come on. It's a cool car. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed there have been some discussions with Google about using their autonomous driving technology in upcoming models. Musk is fully behind the driverless technology, but said Google must first get past their expensive sensor system technology and needs to use a camera setup instead. Musk also mentioned that Google is committed to their current system. So he said, whatever, Brosef. Maybe we'll just develop our own cool technology in-house. And if you're lucky, we'll work with you Googlers down the line. So basically, it's time to musk up. Yeah. Yes. Big time. He didn't use those exact words, Max. Who didn't? Nor the Anchorman reference. That was all me. Anyway, EV technology is still Tesla's first priority, said Musk. Then they will look further into autonomous systems. And if you're wondering, I said technology five times in that story. That makes six. Nice. All right. Oh, and remember yesterday, Tom? Yeah. When I told everyone about the special Ferrari La Ferrari? Yep. Well, yeah, a Ferrari spokesperson came out and denied those claims. Basically, he said, uh, why would we build a limited edition of a car that's already a limited edition? Right. 499 of them. Well, they call it the La Ferrari. And it is called the La Ferrari. So, yeah, that's... There it is. Yep. yep. Is that it? That's it. All right. That'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Follow us on that Twitter. Like us on that Facebook. And, of course, subscribe on YouTube. Watch on iTunes. Pictures on Instagram. T-shirts. FLD app. And remember, send in your pictures to tips at Fast Lane Daily of you doing just one or all of those things. It could be just one. You could just be Instagram, and that's cool. We'll use it. All right? Thanks, folks. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right?
Thursday in a bag, boom, or in the can, or in the camera can. Or in the books. In the books. Intro, take one. I didn't say I was ready. Come on. There you go. There's an Instagram. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.